Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So I did mention this a little bit yesterday, but the new Dragon of the Week has been announced for DML. And so if we head on over to the in-game news section, it says, Who's slamming to Dragolandia? And we have this uh, little egg here with two horns and a little nine jersey. And it says, Greetings Dragon Lords, who's coming to Dragolandia next week? Can you guess it? Happy hatching and have a wonderful weekend. And so... This is obviously the Slam Dunk Dragon, which is a dragon that has been available as a Dragon of the Week before, but it has been over a year since the last time this dragon was available. And he is an epic, a wind, earth, and void element epic, which is a little bit strange. And he does have a nice little get up with like his sporting gear on and everything. I really like this dragon just because I like having animals and stuff that have like people clothes on, but. Again, he hasn't been available since June of 2016, so it has just been over a year since you've been able to get him. So, you know, I think this is going to be a nice welcome dragon for a lot of people, because probably a lot don't have him. And there is another post about him on the DML Facebook page where it says, click on the breeding den, you click it and you can see his egg. And they said, they say knowledge is power, now can you get one step ahead of the competition and find out the dragon of next week? Can you guess it right? Happy hatching and have a wonderful weekend. So, yeah, pretty much they always just post it on all their social media so you know what dragon it's going to be. But, like I said, I don't think I've bred him before. Oh, wait, I have. I did breed him. I must have bred him last year. I'm going insane. But, uh, he's a very nice looking dragon. He's very blue, and my favourite colour is blue. So, uh, well, aqua. But, very nice dragon, so, you know, hopefully he'll be a bit easier to breed than the golem was this week. Because that, that breed was kind of insane. I'm not even going to lie there. But, you know, I, I hope that uh, it's at least a little bit easier this week. You know, if they're going to give a super hard one to try and get, they should give a, an easier one. Just to sort of spread it out and even out the, uh, the weekly dragons to breed. Because if you just make it, like, impossible for, like, a month in a row, everyone's going to be like... How could you, dear Mel? You're purposely trying to stop me from getting any dragons. I hate you. Pay to win game, you Nazis. And, uh, you know, if you've ever been on the Facebook pages, you probably already know what I'm talking about. But I did just want to mention that someone did mention it as well on the DML Facebook page there in that post. I did take a very quick look on, uh, at it. Well, my uh, brain isn't working today. But in regards to the Golden Gatherer event, obviously we went, Jesus, we went into detail about it yesterday. And like I said, I have never been a person to agree that just removing the Golden Hatchlings was the right thing to do. And, you know, it seems to be working to a degree because the scores aren't insane anymore, but... You know, the person that did post on the Facebook page did bring up a very good point that now the Golden Gatherer events and that have basically become a lot more about who has the most gems to spend on gold if they want to do so. Or basically, if you do have gems, you are at a massive advantage. Whereas before, if you could afford the Golden Hatchlings just outright, then you could sort of just save them up with your cash that you just earned from playing and in that sense it was kind of fair which is why I've I'm I'm a person that's always said look the weekend events are pretty much undoable for anyone that isn't like near max level but they are essentially even because I mean it's just always going to be the highest level guys fighting against each other I think that's fine because they've worked hard to get their rank and their level up and just think about how many hours they've put into the game. Jesus. But when you take all of the portal gems away and now remove the hatchlings as well, it does become a little bit more who has VIP, who is willing to spend a little bit more. And the events are going to become a lot more prone to that now, especially considering that... You know, if you just save up all your portal gems and don't spend any and just spend them only during the Golden Gatherer events, 
you're pretty much gonna be guaranteed to get at least a good placement. So, at the end of the day, I don't think much has changed about the uh, Golden Gatherer events. The scores won't be quite as insane. They will be nowhere near as crazy, but in terms of their actual competitiveness, I think I'm starting to see it as well in the scoring that it wasn't the right decision, really. <laughs> which is what I've always said about the Golden Hatchlings. I don't think it was really... Just removing the Hatchlings, I don't think is the right way to do it. No, that's just my opinion for now and a few others. Not everyone, of course. Some people are super happy at the change and they're just like ringing Game Loss praises and saying, you're so amazing, I can't believe you've actually made the game so fair. Look. If you're happy about the changes, then, you know, happy for you. It's just, I could see some issues forming, let's put it that way. But, you know, it is early days. The events only just started being this way. So, for now, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And, you know, see if myself and the other people posting about it are actually correct. Or if it's, it is going to even itself out, you know. But, you know... Since yesterday, not a lot's happened again, you know, I don't really know what we want to do today. I mean, I did want to get a purple chest at least for today, so he got this one. Give me some energy! Not quite, I mean, he gave me pretty much good of everything I didn't really want. Which I, uh, I guess that's the thing. You could do that if you want, game. It won't please me, but, you know. And I'm sorry if I do seem a bit weird, I mean, I've... Literally, I had about two hours sleep in the last 48 hours. Uh, mostly because I was playing Paladins through the night and then I had to wake up super early. So, it's not anyone else's fault. It is my own. And, uh, you know, don't do what I do. Don't, don't do what I do. I mean, I almost fell asleep at work like about 20 times. I'm sure people probably saw me dozing off at my desk thinking, what the hell is wrong with her? Like, I used to stay up so much, like, a few years back. I used to get home on a Friday, like, after school, and then I would pretty much always stay awake until midday Sunday, or, like, Sunday night, and then I would then wake up for school, on the morning of the Monday, or some days I would get an hour's worth of sleep on Saturday night and then not sleep on Sunday, which is uh, definitely something I do not recommend as well, because not sleeping before school, not sleeping before work, or just anything in general, not sleeping before you have to go outside is uh, never, never a good idea, <laughs> as I'm sure a few of you know yourselves, because... I mean, when people are young, they pretty much always stay up, talk to people, just mess around, procrastinate, moan about school and teachers and stuff like that. You know, that's just what you do when you're young. That's that's pretty much, school is the thing that takes over your life. It's the only thing a lot of people have when they're younger as well, so it's like you have to do well at school because you have to get a good job, you have to go to a university and do this and that, and you have to be successful and are just so much stress so it's just like I hate this teacher she's a massive bee and I right, Courtney's busy dating Jason again but he cheated on her 75 times what like uh you know those days are over for me at least I hope so Jesus Christ I did not like them that much <laughs> Like, some people thrive in that sort of atmosphere. Normally, just people that are, like, craving attention, if that makes sense. Or just people that like to hang around in big groups. I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I do tend to prefer my time alone. In general, apart from... There's, like, one or two people in the whole world that I would be willing to, like, sit down and talk to face-to-face. But, apart from that, in general, I just don't really care about, like, being friends with people. <laughs> that makes me sound absolutely awful, and, uh, I guess it kind of is. 
But it's just... You know, I get so many of you guys messaging me all the time that, you know, in real life, I don't really have a whole lot of time to talk to people. And talking to so many people online, pretty much, that fills any void I would ever have of feeling lonely. Because, you know, I always have someone, like, atting me and like, At Quacks, what are you doing? At Quacks, come play with me. At Quacks, do this. It's just like... Okay, I'll I'll try. I'll try and pay attention and that means that a lot of the time I end up just ignoring people in real life, which is uh most people would say that's quite sad. <laughs> but you know, I don't I don't miss the interaction from school. That is for sure. It's just some people are introverted, some people are extroverted, it's just as simple as it is. I am a person that being around people makes me tired. I'm not someone that by being around people I feel happy and fulfilled and invigorated. I feel the opposite. I get so tired being around human beings. That, you know, sometimes I just want to sit at home, just do my videos and just get on with life. And then other people are like, oh come out, come party with us, come get drunk. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I'll get drunk at home on my own while I'm playing, like, League of Legends, which is what I did a couple of times. Oh god, I missed. No! God, I'm so distracted and my brain's so frazzled today. But, yeah, I'll get drunk on my own and I'll, you know, I'll do it to enjoy my own time. I don't drink for the sake of the social normity of it. Why is drinking alcohol a societal norm anyway? Like, I know people like to forget their worries and just have a good time, but why do you need to get, like, absolutely drunk off your tits to do that? I don't know. It's just very weird to me. But, you know, as long as people are happy and not just covering up their utter blinding sadness, you know, I'm fine with that because, you know, if if you pretend you're happy but deep down inside you're like miserable, you don't actually want to do anything, you feel sad, you know, there's no point in pretending that you're happy because one day it's just all going to come out, you're going to have a massive breakdown, you're going to hate your life, you're going to have a midlife crisis, whatever it is. So, I think what I'm trying to really say is... Just be honest with yourself and the people around you. Is you know you only get out of life what you put into it. If you enjoy playing video games, do something about it. Don't just play video games and don't amount to anything. Either commit to being a super, super good player, record it so you can get money out of it, and uh, you know, make Reddit posts, go on message boards, do something about it. If that is what you really enjoy, do that. I've kind of, like, made my own way into that because, I mean, I get paid to play DML. So, it is possible. Anyone can do it. I am not someone special. I am not, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a, a crazy person that has achieved something impossible put it that way, it is very simple to be successful in life and you just gotta follow what you wanna do. If you work doing the thing you love, you won't work a day in your life, as they say. And especially when you're young, you normally have plenty of opportunities to do that because I mean you have, most people at least have parents or caregivers that like facilitate them or like house them. So you don't have to worry about the bills for a little while, you just have to worry about grades. And then, when you're young as well, you can make mistakes, you can get bailed out, but you know, if you're 40 years old and you have three children and you suddenly decide that you want to change your whole life, all that you're going to do is, you know, probably make your wife or husband very miserable and make your children despise you. So, you know... Just try and think about what you want to do in life when you're young. Make your stupid mistakes now, 
And uh, don't just waste all your time getting hammered and just partying every single night. Because, I mean, what does that actually get you at the end of the day? Oh, look, I... I, I, um... Had 15 Jaeger bombs last night. I was absolutely drenched. Yeah, and so what does that do for you? Nothing. I'm sure you know what I'm trying to say anyway. It's just... Don't do that. It's just like, don't hack in video games. How pointless is hacking in video games? You actually get nothing out of it. Like, I've never really thought of something so pointless as hacking in my life. Like... Just in general, what do you get out of it? You can sit there and say, oh, my auto aimbot headlock insta killed all five of the enemy players. I'm so good at this game. No, you just. You just pulled up a script or a bot and then. I don't know, you just held down left click. It doesn't mean anything. And what do you do after that? Oh, yeah, you get banned. Fantastic. Good job. Idiot. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased. Maybe. Maybe I just want everyone to be successful, which, you know, realistically can't happen. If everyone was successful, nobody could be successful because everyone would still be, like, on par with one another. You know, people have to fail in life to allow others to succeed. So don't allow you to be one of the. One of the failures. Just go out there, do what you want to do. If you want to create deviant artwork, then draw every day, paint every day, work on your art skills every day. Because if you're not working on something at least for five, ten minutes a day, then you're going to find that you're going to lose passion. Which is what I see a lot of people in like their mid to late 20s doing. Especially people that are single, they just, they just freeze and they're like, wow, I didn't do anything with my life. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure this is like going straight over the heads of some of you younger folk, but, you know, heed my advice. I am trying my best to set you up for life here from uh, the limited experience I have had so far in my 18, soon to be 19, relatively short years of life. But anyway, after that massive philosophical and, you know, depressing rant, I am going to say it again. Look forward to the Slam Dunk Dragon coming out next week. And obviously, as soon as I find out the breeding combination for him, I will let you know and do my breeding guide for him. We can actually beat up Saini now that I collected the food. Oh, he's such a strong little boy now. I love him so much. But... Anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.